topic. Russia and China are teaming up in the skies near Alaska for the first time ever. Are you getting a sense yet, based on everything that's been going on, that some of America's enemies might be looking at what's happening here and think there's nobody in charge? So let me just say this. There is very much someone in charge. The president is the president until the end of his term. So that, that, uh, that statement is certainly false. And we have seen the president bring together our allies and partners. He reinvigorated NATO. He got more than 50 countries behind Ukraine to make sure that they were able to defend themselves against Putin. He stood up to Putin, and he's done a lot more. Uh, and now, right now, as we're speaking, I believe it's still happening, the president is having a bilateral conversation meeting with the, with the prime minister of Israel. So, who, by the way, the prime minister of Israel thanked the president for the work that he's been, he's been able to do uh, in helping to make sure that Israel is able to have an ironclad security, right? And so that's that. But let me be clear. I want to actually address uh, your, I guess, the basis of your question uh, outside of saying there's no leadership. Our Department of Defense did not see this activity in Alaska Air Defense Identification Zone as a threat. North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, continues to monitor PRC and Russian activity near North America and to meet, uh, to meet, presence, and, uh, to meet presence with presence. U.S. and Canadian aircraft detected, tracked, and intercepted the Russian and PRC aircraft, and more broadly, the U.S. remains concerned about the PRC and Russian collaboration across all instruments of national power that do not promote global stability and security, not just the, in the Arctic, uh, but the president, if anything, if you look at uh, his foreign policy objectives and what he's been able to do and what the last administration did, they, the last administration ruined our relationships with our partners and allies. This president had to fix that and make sure that we, we actually mended our relationship with our partners and allies. And that's what we've been able to do. And a perfect example is what we're seeing with Ukraine being able to defend itself against Russia's aggression. Okay. So yesterday, 